Welcome to the Fox One Corp series of training videos. I'm Dave Springford. Please visit me online at www.foxonecorp.com for your glider supplies. In this video, I want to take a look at the waypoint mode and answer the question, which is better, selecting your waypoint using the filter method or the list method? So let's take a look at how we can do that. First thing is, when we're in waypoint mode using either the quick menu on the remote stick or by pressing one of the hot keys on the main unit, we can come up with the select menu. Once we click select, this is currently in filter mode. And so what this allows me to do is it allows me to scroll through the waypoints based on the first character filtering. And so in this case, we can see that all of the 60 turn points are showing up on this list. My preference is I always load the cup file into the LX9000 that has numbers before names because I always like to use the filter method. And so let's say we wanted to go to turn point 29. Right now we're in the 60s. We need to get into the 20s. So our bottom right button counterclockwise, we can click into the 20s. And so now we have the list of the 20s and I said I wanted to go to 29. We can see that at the bottom of the list. So the first thing I can select is the go to button here. That takes me into the 20s. If I rotate clockwise, it will take me through the list 21, 22, 23, etc. If I rotate counterclockwise, it takes me backwards through the list 29, 28. So oftentimes it's quicker to rotate counterclockwise to get to the last one. So I want to go to this 29 Hagersville. So now I press go to and now we can see the screen has switched and we're navigating to this waypoint 29 Hagersville. The other option we have when we go to select a waypoint is to use the list method. And we can change the method here by clicking on the method button. And if we press again on the method button, it takes us to list. And now we can see a list of all the waypoints that we have in the cup file. Personally, I find this slow and tedious having to rotate through the entire list, particularly considering some of the waypoint lists are pretty long. So here we are at 29 and we want to go back to waypoint 60 that we had before. So we can click clockwise here and we have to scroll all the way through the list until we get down to number 60. And then we can hit go to and we're back to navigating to waypoint 60. So the answer to the question, which one's better? In my opinion, the filter method's a lot better. It's faster. It allows you to get through large waypoint files more quickly. In either of the methods, using the number before waypoint name feature in your cup file, I think is the best way to go. It allows you to quickly get to where you want. Some other methods that we can see in the selection method here, besides filter and list, there's also map. And so we can go down to map. Within map, what it does is it takes the nearest turn point to us and it shows it to us. To get to the next nearest turn point, we rotate counterclockwise and we'll start scrolling through all the waypoints as they get further and further away from our current position. This might be a useful function when you're flying a mat. The final method that we have is we have history. So if we go to history, we can see the last two waypoints that I've selected. And so if you're bouncing back and forth between waypoints, trying to decide which one to go to, quickly you can get back to your previous point that you've selected using this history method. So it's a pretty fast method as well. So we scroll through this list just by pressing the method button, and I'm going to set it back to filter because the answer to the question, which one's the best, in my opinion, filter method is the best. Hopefully you've learned something new about your LX computer today. Please visit me online at www.foxonecorp.com and subscribe to this Fox One Corp YouTube channel.